Okay, so let's look at merging cultures. If you had two houses next to each other and they had both had a barbecue that turned into a late night function with lots of great energy and great mood, but two different functions. One was inside, one was out in the backyard. And someone said, hey, let's get these two parties to join together. And somebody ran through the back fence, opened the gate. You guys should come over here. You guys should come over here. Or they took down a fence. When those two parties come together, they rarely become more. Rarely. It's possible they rarely become more. Because some people were really enjoying what was going on here in these relationships. And other people were really enjoying this dynamic and this kind of music or this kind of food or where they were sitting or these people's energy. And then what happens is the two parties come together. And what you'll find is all the people really will separate into what suits them and people will start to leave, I've got another function, I've had enough now, things have changed here. And you're left with people who are quite happy with the crossover of the two. And that group is much smaller than the bigger party. Well, that actually happens in mergers as well, in company mergers. When two organizations come together, the research really is that after five years, they're worth less than they were when they joined. Uh, most of the time, I think it's like 57% of the time. So what we get, we got these two big companies that look like two big entities. Wow, we're going to come together in this big party or this big entity. But over the period of time, the party continues and the merger continues. What you end up with are just the, the components that could survive, that, that crossed over. It's almost like, you know, we see those pictures, two circles that cross over. What's left with is where's the crossover? And that's largely because it wasn't facilitated to get the culture right and the dynamic right, the priorities right and the same and the, and the like, so that we could have a bigger party. So if we wanted a great party to kick off, what would really have to happen is a little bit of discussion beforehand, but a few things would have to be in place so that those two parties could be shared. And for example, a simple one, if you put the bar in the middle of those two parties and people were going to the bar, what were people having is a little, hey, chat to so-and-so, say hello over there. And then we get a little bit of a, we progressively already have this thing shared, but we progressively could see a few people and progressively get the culture where if the two groups did talk together, oh, I saw you over there before, you came over here, oh, this guy was ordering a beer with me, we've got something in common. Now, we go, how do we do that in a merger? Well, there's many ways to do it. It's, it's more sophisticated. But once again, the merging of two cultures is, is possible. It's an art form, but if you don't get it right, your whole party dissolves. And do you think that the cool kids stay at the party if it's a bad party? No, the cool kids go to another party and you're left for those people that think that they're cool, and, but they've had a bit much to drink and they're going to stay all night and they're quite obnoxious and the like, and in a company you get the same. Do you think the cool kids stay? Mm, you, get a, you get a couple of core who are hosting it and they feel a responsibility, but really the cool kids leave. So when it comes to managing culture, especially with major uh, organizations coming together, that is a very skilled, very deliberate uh, approach that's required to have success there. And it's absolutely possible to have two parties come together and for it to be bigger. But and if it's not high on your radar, as high as the finance, as high as the systems that you're putting in place, as high as the marketing, the rebranding, it's, it's just not gonna happen, So, but it's essential. And it'll define your organization. And, that's, and research easily proves that. Go do some, find some stats. There's, it's easily provable that most organizations when they merge, drop down.